Ксения Евгеньевна, прокомментируйте, пожалуйста, еще... Please comment on the following. Once I was told that I have all the qualities needed to perform magic in a graveyard, I have no craving for it. I'm even afraid of cemeteries. How can I combine the necessary aptitudes with a complete lack of interest in this topic? You know, it doesn't matter what you've been told. You need to check it out for yourself. Visit a cemetery, not an active one that contains fresh graves, but a really old one where no one buries anyone anymore. In an old cemetery, there is no arousal of energy from the newly buried. As you know, for three days after their death, the consciousness and mind of the recently deceased stay near the physical body. Sometimes they're buried earlier, and their mind doesn't always understand what happened. Their etheric body is not yet detached from the physical, and they may experience panic. And this disturbing phenomenon always affects the emotional state of the living. A functioning cemetery is full of these emotions. You simply can't feel anything but these emotions there. An old cemetery is very different. Everything is settled there. It's like an old communal apartment where residents survived the siege together. And if they were fighting all the time before the siege, after the siege, they are even more than relatives. They have been through everything together. In an old cemetery, relations are approximately the same. There is a built hierarchy. There is a graveyard cult, the master or mistress of a cemetery with their own rules, which means that nothing will change. It's like a book that has already been written, and you should try to read the space there. You should visit a place like this. Maybe you are afraid of cemeteries precisely because you are frightened by graveyards filled with disturbance. But if you go to an old cemetery, where that atmosphere is no longer present, perhaps you will feel something and even receive some revelations. And these revelations will be purely informational, not energetic, since cemeteries don't give anyone energy except some maniacs or cemetery workers, but such is their job. Whereas old cemeteries pass information on, they accumulate it and sometimes just need to give it away. Headstone inscriptions were used to include the person's full name and profession, his date of birth and date of death, the names of family members and relationships, describing the whole story, an entire era. But who goes to these cemeteries now? Only those who visit their relatives once in a while. Nobody goes there anymore. Even the gravediggers do not go because they have already dug up everything they could. So that's why such cemeteries aren't like dying. They're in stasis. However, sometimes, they accumulate information and want to pass it on. That's when you can feel something there. But if you want to work there, you need to have strong energy, never go there sick and never go there hungry, meaning you need to be physically healthy and not practice often, at least at first. That's the only advice I can give on this topic. But I do know that performing graveyard magic, working with NAV and connecting with the world of the dead is the hardest form of witchcraft. Very few people can undertake this work and withstand it. Warlocks who perform this type of magic do things that other masters usually don't do. Things that no other tradition can handle. Such a practitioner works with severe cancer patients, buying them back from the dead with ransom and sacrifices, and does lots of other things. And as a rule, only masters who perform magic in a graveyard do this sort of work.